As you can see today, we got a big, big unboxing right here, and they're gonna be uh, installing these right here today. It's gonna be my projector halo lights right here. We pinned on my 2002 Honda Civic EM2 Coupe. Let's go ahead and open this box or pick see what these things look like. It's a big box. Just got dropped off actually. I'm excited about it. Full headlight lenses right here. Pack is pretty good, though. I like that. That's what one of them look like right here. Oh yeah. So you get some good looks at this right quick. It's these halos right here, projector headlights. It's gonna be installing these today. Look like it has the bulbs already in it. Which is awesome, awesome. Should be an easy installation, man. Let's go ahead. Uh, let me see. Let me see if we wanna see what the one back one of these right here look like. Looks like it's just a uh, plug and play type of deal right here, though. Should just have to plug it up, and it should be ready to go. Pull my other headlight out, put this one in. We're going to be good to go, man. So let's go ahead and get ready for this setup now. All right, first thing we got to do to get these headlights changed out is we got to take this whole front bump off, which is not hard. I have my bump off plenty of times. Only kind of tool I'm going to be using is a, um, just to get the bump off, is just a Phillips head screwdriver and a flathead. You're going to need a Phillips head for the, uh, your Phillips head screws and a flathead screwdriver for these little pins right here. you got a lot of these to take off. I have four on the top of mine, so you have to take off one, two, three, four. And underneath them, you have eight of them underneath there. <laughs> Unfortunately for me, I don't have none of them mine. When I first got the car, I didn't have any uh, down there. I'm guessing it was wrecked a little bit, my bump was a little bit messed up, so none of my pants was down there. All I have is those four pins on the top holding it and two bolts on each side and two bolts underneath there. And all four of those bolts are Phillips. Let's go ahead and take this bump off real quick. Number one bolt you're going to be taking off is right here uh, on the offender wheel. Bolt, which is uh, right there, actually. So my camera can in here on it the sun is killing it right there you can use either eight millimeter socket or either uh, phillips it's the first boat then the second one will be actually underneath down here which will be right here which will be phillips and same thing for the opposite side over here same thing for that side so I'm going to go ahead and take these off right quick and we're going to drop this down. Got the whole front bump off here now. Easy, easy peasy. First up, I think I'm just going to show y'all how to do one of the headlights. Be the same thing for the opposite side. What we're going to be working on here is the passenger side one. 
go ahead and get this one out the way and in order to take this off you need a 10 millimeter socket it's only four bolts you have two that's right here on top you can get to these from under the hood here and here then the reason you have to take off the bumper is to get to the two that's underneath here and also you're going to need like a uh, extender because the socket is actually back here you can see one there one socket there and another one just here on the side right there plain daylight but yeah we have to take this head like first thing we're going to do is just uh unscrew those bolts get everything loose and then we're going to remove the harness See, we've taken all four of those bolts out. Headlight is loose now. Ready to come loose. All we have to do now is pull out a couple wires, a couple harnesses. Uh, looks like we have three to pull out. The first one is our main headlight harness right here. Let's go ahead and yank this one out. Then we have a blinker bulb right here. Trying to work this out with one hand, y'all. And we have our, uh, look like our highs right here. Down to the bottom, I can't, I can feel it with my hand, but I can't show it to y'all. There's another one down there. And this is the whole complete headlight out right here. My old headlight right there, new one that's about to go in. I'm gonna show you all what we gotta do next. Okay, now what we gotta do is remove this bracket right here. It's the only thing we have to move from this headlight fixture to this one here. And it's only held on by one bolt, one millimeter, 10, 10 millimeter bolt right there. Remove that and make sure your headlight does have fitting for that right there. Just that one bolt underneath. And you can see mine does right there. So I'm going to remove that right there and place it onto this right here. All right, just put that bracket up there. Not too hard. Now the thing we got to do is hook up back up our wiring harnesses. And all of them are like right here, actually. They are three different sizes, so you can tell which one is which. You have this looking one, a uh, bigger one, and a smaller one here. So let's go ahead and do this real quick. I'm just gonna plug these in right here. Hold on, right quick. And all we should have to do is should be a plug and play. As you can see right here, the connectors. See if I can do this with one hand actually. Oh, my connectors look horrible. Alright, we got one in there. Another one over here, and it's like a it's, it's, it only fits in one way, so you don't have to worry about pinning it in backwards, nothing like that. Yeah, this one hand is not kicking it. Hold on, let me plug these in right quick. All right, we got everything plugged in right now. I got a plastic stick on it. Um, first thing you want to do before you put it all back together, just make sure it does work. Let's flip the headlight switch right quick. Probably can't hold see it in the daytime, but I can't see those at all. <laughs> I don't know, I can't hardly see it. Oh yeah, they're working, I can see it. It is, it is. Oh yeah, we good. Alright, now I was out here messing around with it, and I seen that um, there are some extra wires back here. Um, here. And here. Now it looks like uh, right now with just the harnesses hooked up, the only thing that lights up is uh, 
the bulb inside of here, not the actual halo, not the actual halo on this one, but the bulbs in the inside and park light and light bar. Then my brights would turn on. And the other wires, the EC wires, the extra left those wires, one was for both halos and another one was for this bulb back here. So a halogen bulb back here. So what I'm about to do now, I'm about to go take both of these uh headlights and I'm gonna rewire them. How I'm gonna do that is um because I don't want, always want these bulbs right here coming on because they're like a uh, yellowish color and the, and the halo bulbs is blue. I like the blue going on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect uh, this one, this one, and this bar right here. And I'm going to connect this bar and the halos to the headlights. And then whenever I turn on my brights, that's when all of them will pop on. So yeah, let's go ahead and rewire it up real quick. Okay, let me show y'all what we got right here, what I just did. Um, first thing I did was I pulled out this bulb here and I pulled out this bulb and I exchanged those two, flip flopped them. The reason that I did that is because this bulb over here was a blue light and this one right here was a yellow light. And I wanted the yellow one, the, the yellowish one over here and the bluish one over here. The reason for that is when my headlights light up, this bar right here is gonna actually be blue along with my, uh, my halos. And the little light over here is going to be yellow now. So, at first, this right here was yellow, and this right here over here was blue. So, I was like, uh, I want my light bar to be, be bluish looking. So, let's do that first and foremost. And then I changed up the way it was wired up. Um, not nothing spectacular. This light that was, that was right here, this yellow, this yellow is looking like it was wired up to its own, uh, private connector which was right here I cut that loose and I wired up this right here to my my blue uh, light bar right here and also my LEDs my blue halos so when I flip the switch one time I go to my park lights these lights is going to pop on my halos is going to pop on my halos and this blue light bar up here and also this one park light right here then when I flip my headlights all the way over, the rest of the lights are going to come on. The yellow light and my headlight here. Hitting my bright lights, and this one here pops on. So pretty much uh, not not that hard. I just cut this wire. I used quick connectors here because I had a couple quick, uh, couple quick connectors that came with it. Use those for this one here. And just to wire this back up, I just straight wire it together. Matching up with these halos. I'm going to show you how it's going to look when we get it all together. So now I'm going to install these things back on. I'm just going to tuck these wires up too. So let's go for it. All right, first thing I'm going to do is plug these wires back up. And I'm going to tuck all the wires in here. Yeah. It's easy to plug right back up into it. Just letting that sears. Just sucks after this. We gotta play hide the cable game. So we can tuck all these wires somewhere. Pretty much after that, tuck all the wires and I'm just gonna place it back how I took it off. Got both headlights installed now. About to throw this bumper back on it and take the plastic off. Be right back. Let's see what this thing gonna look like. 
All right, this right here is the Finito project right here for this project, man. They in there, they look good, man. They actually look a lot better than I thought. Ooh. Heating it up right now. Oh, those lights go hard, though. Yeah, this is them projector headlights right there, y'all. See them? Easy installation, easy installation. DIY, do it yourself, my heart, y'all. That's what it is. That's what it is right there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, man, do thank y'all for tuning in, man. It's been your host right here. I'm going to catch y'all on the next one. Go home. Productions. Thank you.